Salute, Ezio. Welcome back. And well done. My host is restored to its former glory. Now Silvio will see just how grave a mistake he's made. How should we proceed? A direct assault against the Arsenale? No. We'd be massacred at the gates. I have something else in mind. Take my men and plant them throughout the district. The trouble they cause will force Silvio to dispatch most of his guards. And with the Arsenale drained of mercenaries, I can move in for the kill. Esatto. You'll be virtually unopposed. Let's hope he takes the bait. Oh, don't worry. He will. Wait here for my signal. As you wish. Stay close. I want no part of this! Salve! Fire! 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 Fire!
Hold your ground here. Consider it done. This way. This is where you wait. Send word when it's time to strike. Ah! There you are! Is it done? Yes. All your men are in place. Bene, bene. Take this. I assume you know how it works. Find the highest point you can in the district, and fire it from there. This signals my men to begin the attack. All right, then. I will see you on the battlefield. That you will.
Bartolomeo needs my help. Arsenale. Salute, Ezio! Get up some gold. By all means! <laughs> ah. Depart! Ezio, go now! That brute will no doubt lead you straight to his master. My men and I will remain here and keep the guards from giving chase. Hurry! They're going to leave without us! the boats. I thought you saw the doge seat. Just a distraction. We were meant to sail. Sail where? I'll never tell. Cyprus is their destination. They want... They want... Non temete l'oscurità. Accettate il suo abbraccio. Requiescant in pace. Thank you. 
Well done, Ezio. Silvio is defeated, and the military district is returned to us. Perhaps now Venezia might finally enjoy a bit of pace e tranquillità. We should celebrate this victory! I am glad for you and your men, Bartolomeo, for I cannot join. I fear my work has just taken a rather strange turn. What do you mean? Silvio wasn't looking to replace Marco as Doge. He was about to leave Venezia, in fact. This whole thing was just a distraction. Why? That is what I need to find out. There you are, Ezio. Why so serious? It's my birthday. Davvero? Cento di questi giorni. That's wonderful. Is it? It's been over ten years since I watched my father and brothers die. Ten years hunting the men responsible. So close to the end now, but... no closer to understanding what any of it was for. You may not see it, Ezio, but it's better here now because of the things you've done. Basta. Look here. I have a birthday present for you. It's L'Arsenale's shipping manifest. From the day the boat left. The boat to Cyprus? You're serious. And guess when it's scheduled to return? Tomorrow. It's you. Leonardo! When did you get back? Just now. I need to talk to you. Right away. <laughs> Go on. Have fun, boys. It's better be good. Oh, it is. It is. Walk with me. Stay close. These last two codex pages. I was studying the copies. I don't know why I never saw it before. But when put together, I realize the markings on the back clarify into words. Here. The prophet will appear when the second piece is brought to the floating city. Prophet. Only the prophet may open it. Two pieces of Eden. What are you saying? Ezio, what is this? We've known each other a long time, Leonardo. If I can't trust you, there is nobody. My uncle Mario spoke of it long ago. A prophecy hidden in the Codex, leading to an ancient vault that holds something very powerful. Grandioso. But if you took these pages from the Barbarigo, then maybe they know about this vault too. That's not good. Wait. What if that's why they sent the ship to Cyprus? To find this piece of Eden and bring it back to Venezia. When the second piece is brought to the floating city, the Prophet will appear. Only the Prophet can open the vault. My God! When my uncle told me about the Codex, I was too young, too brash to imagine he was anything but an old man's fantasy. But now I see the killing of Mochenigo. Even the Medici, my father and brothers. It was all part of his plan. To find the vault. The Spaniard. Rodrigo Borcia. The boat from Cyprus arrives tomorrow. I plan to be there to meet it. Good luck, my friend.
Taking it. I suppose we should be thankful we're not seriously injured. Still, amico, you need to have a care. Give them something to think about. See. Si. There he is. Don't let them get away. <laughs> Here and everywhere there is tears. Finally, someone with courage and think. After you, Bello. Ciao, ragazzo. Just last month, the Visconti bought 300 of my
Must have Kakasangwe moving like that. The maestro awaits. He will not suffer mistakes. Package it correctly. Do it now. The Spaniards here? That changes things. If I can infiltrate this group, take the place of the courier, they'll lead me right to the Filio di Putana. Come here. Certainly adventurous. Yes, sir. This is a moment of great importance. Stay in formation. Make this right. From now on, yes? Why don't the villages retain their idiot services, huh? followed absolutely everything went perfectly we have followed your orders exactly as specified the mission to cyprus was more difficult than it it's you it's been some time rodrigo so we 
that easy. <laughs> Who? Your prophet. Doesn't look like anybody showed up, Rodrigo. How many people have died for these? For what's in this box? And look, there's nobody here. <laughs> you claim not to be a believer, and yet here you are. Don't you see him? The prophet is already here. I am the prophet. Now give me the apple. Come and take it from me. Is this all you have? Where is the rest of your people? What people? You really have no idea, do you? Guards! Nepote, you are not alone. Volpe? What are you doing here? We could very well ask you the same thing. We? Save your questions, brother. Don't let Borja leave that box. Avanti! Now, you all shall die. Oh, 
Isn't this magnifico? Hold up and The brothers didn't need to die. I just killed them to make the point. There is no mercy when you cross the bridge. This is for my father. Paola? He's gone, but we have what we came for. No. I need to go after him. Do you really now? Or are you here for another reason, my son? Theodora! What? What are you all doing here? Perhaps the same thing you are, Ezio. Hoping to see the Prophet appear. I came here to kill the Spaniard. I couldn't care less about your Prophet. He never showed up. No? But you did. What? A Prophet's arrival was foretold. And unbeknownst to us, here you are. Perhaps all along, you were the one we sought. Cosa? Who are you? Niccolò di Bernardo de Machiavelli. I am an assassin, trained in the ancient ways to safeguard mankind's evolution. Just like you, and each one of us here. You are all assassins? Paola, Volpe. It's true, Nipote. We have all been guiding you for years, teaching you the skills you would need to join our ranks. I think it's time. We have our prize, but there is much to be done. Come, meet us here at sunset. La Shea Waka Umutlak Bel Kulun Munkin. These are the words spoken by our ancestors that lay at the heart of our creed. Where other men blindly follow the truth, remember nothing is true. Where other men are limited. By morality or law, remember. Everything is permitted. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Nothing, Nothing is, is true. true. Everything, Everything is, is permitted. permitted. It is time, Ezio. In this modern age, we are not so literal as our ancestors. But our seal is no less permanent. Are you ready to join us? I am. This only hurts for a while, brother. Like so many things. Benvenuto, Ezio. You are one of us now. Come, we have much to do. Are you okay? Do you want to stop? No, I need to go back right now. Uh oh, oh dear, Sean. Of course. How could I have forgotten? You want to share with the rest of us? Rodrigo Borgia is elected Pope in 1492. Which means Ezio's greatest enemy is now also the most powerful man in Italy. Always wanted to visit the Vatican. Well, your luck's in, Desmond. Happy days. Because that's exactly where you're going.
Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. What is it, Leonardo? What does he do? I could no more explain this than explain to you why the Earth goes around the Sun. You mean the Sun around the Earth? It's fabricated with materials that shouldn't exist. And yet, this is clearly a very ancient artifact. The Codex refers to it as a piece of Eden. The Spaniard. He called it the apple. Like Eve's apple, of forbidden knowledge. Are you then suggesting that this thing... This must never fall into the wrong hands. It would drive weaker minds insane. No doubt the Spaniard will be relentless in his desire to gain it back. Ezio, you must protect this with all the skills we have taught you. Take it to Forli. The citadel is walled, protected by cannons, and our ally controls it. Who is this ally? Her name is Katarina Sforza. You don't say. I think I may enjoy this mission. Thank you for everything, my oldest friend. Leonardo, Ezio tells me you travel off into Milano. I have a grand villa in Toscana. You must come visit me there. <laughs>